This is Brendan Rodgers. And if you do watch football in real life, you'll know Brenda is out the door at Leicester. Sacked after a defeat to the OAP, Roy Hodgson. And no replacement just yet. Graham Potter got sacked from Chelsea, but apparently he's rejected the Leicester job. Wanting to focus on his life, of course, outside of football. And although Chelsea are in turmoil, Leicester seem like they're in such a worse position, being very close to relegated. We've just got a flashback in time. Leicester won the Premier League in this decade. And the man they did it under... I'll introduce you to right now. Claudio Ranieri, the tinker man. Dilly ding, dilly dong. He's now had a fall from grace, not really settling anywhere since his Leicester victories. He pulled off the shock of the century, lifting the Premier League trophy with the Foxes, who just survived. So today, I am going to be stealing this man right here, who is now in FIFA from Serie B side Cagliari. Yes. He's gone low. And we're going to try and rebuild Leicester City in the Premier League to where they once were. The aims are simple and the rules. We've got to lift the Champions League title. We cannot end until we've done that. And the Premier League, they both have to be won. We have to better Shakespeare's record in the Champions League, which he did okay with. And then we also add another rule. Not the maximum of three free agents. We have zero free agents to play with. We're a Premier League team. We don't take free agents when in the Premier League. 70 million in the budget, which the board has gave us, should be enough from the little bit they got last. I don't want to mess anything up right here. Here he is, the Tinker Man. This is Champions League, man. That's something he used to say, of course. And there he is, holding the Leicester kit. Oh, flashbacks. I am very, very excited for this, if you can't tell. Very hyped up. Leicester City back with Ranieri as I really do want to get this youth development pinned down. We didn't do much of it in our last rebuild. We did sign two players from a different nationality to the club. Okay, Europa League straight away and the FA Cup, which they won under Rodgers. Also, a fact not regarding this rebuild is 20% of you guys are only subscribed. That means there is 80% who watch these videos who aren't. So if you're one of those... Please consider hitting the subscribe button if you enjoy the content. I was checking our academy. Oh, and again. Oh, actually, Elliot Drake's maybe saved us here. Is he another James Madison? Does look like he could play forward as well. Speaking of looking forward, let's look at the team. You can definitely tell how this team is struggling. Harry Suta, Christiansen. Looks like defenders are what we need. We've got Mateus Dete, who I think is a promising player. But the main men, I should say are James Madison and Yuri Tielemans, who we probably would lose, and I don't want being captain. Jamie Vardy also on this bench. Now, how old is he? He's 35. Does he still have something in the tank? I'm kind of liking the look of this, you know. It introduces Ndidi over Dewsbury Hall, but Ndidi was with Ranieri, if I'm not wrong. Fayez and Evans. Pereira, Justin, Danny Watt, I just... I think I need a keeper first. I spoke about the elements maybe leaving, but he's just signed another three-year contract. Get in. And immediately after the contract signing, the elements is poached by Juventus, but I am going to turn that down just for now. When I haven't turned down, though, Sassuolo straight away taking Yannick Vestergaard. Absolutely no plans for him. And a few more going out because Renieri wants to clean this squad up. The first one is Mendy, the midfielder. We've got Sumare. No need for him. And also, we lost um, Bertrand. It shows the graphic, but he's gone to Freiburg. And there goes Lesha Bella on a loan to buy to Etifak with a rather weird move as well because Ianacho is going. But he's not permanently going. He's going out on loan to Monza. He was bought by, I think, Will Shakespeare after Ranieri. But Ranieri sees potential still. As he is finally able to bring his own man into this squad. He is a defender, like I promised. We're not going crazy with our signings in season number one. So 15 million on Raphael Toloi. Uh, of course, Italian from an Italian manager. 31 year old. He is the leader that maybe epitomizes Harry Maguire when he was at Leicester and didn't really dent the bank but that one does in the wrong way because Tielemans has left 46 million I could not reject Liverpool we also couldn't reject the chance for a cheap and cheerful keeper Ortega Moreno he's second choice at Manchester City he's a lot better than the options we have right now and comes straight in as the number one for 12 or 13 million. Two fantastic additions who do strengthen the back. I've got Faith in Fires, 
and just in, I just hope can do something good this season. And we do get one of our youngsters loaned out, Victor Christiansen. I know cost a bit of money, but experience out. There's Drake as well going out to get some experience at... So the Southampton or Strasbourg has decided on, and he is a tall player. This is Ranieri's team that is going to start off in this first game of the Premier League season. I mean, we are very low on numbers, you can see. A lot more defenders than anything else. Probably could still do with an attacker. But that team, on paper, I think is good enough. 100% to stay up. Will Europa League be reached, though? I mean, we will see anyway. Because we start right here with Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. Let's go and see if we can do something. What will the result be here? It's gonna be a 3-2 win. I should have played that game, but I don't care. Third minute goal from Barnes. Justin and Madison gets Ranieri off to a brilliant start. Here he is in the press ready to face his questions. Oh, I can't wait for his witty outbursts to come back. I might as well see if we can do two for two. Because this is a local Midlands game. Leicester versus Forest. We're off to two for two. Jamie Vardy gets it. And I honestly can't find one. I can't find another winger right hand side one. We're going to have to give Tete the chance. Probably be happy with the game time, you know. And builds on next window or next season. Two strengthened signings. Not the world beaters, not the best. But it should see us do well to the second half of this season. So how has Ranieri's reign gone? Ooh, semi-finals of the Carabao. You love to see it against Tielemann's new team, Liverpool. And we look to be on target. 38 points. We are above Arsenal. Above Crystal Palace, of course. And we're breaking towards the top six. Ranieri is doing his magic again. Not played in the FA Cup yet, but we've got Grimsby. Oh, we've got... I'm literally wearing the Grimsby kit. A trip to Blundell Park. I'm going to have to put a rotation team out of. Oh. No, that is harsh. And we've had Timothy Castagna ask to leave the club. So everything not going bright. Don't know why I keep doing this. Just Ranieri's magic. Here it is going to old Blundell Park. Will Grimsby get an upset? They don't. Gavin Houlihan, the FA Cup hero. But we've got to do what we've got to do. And an ex-big man going out. Kagla Sayonku. He was such a big player, but not anymore. Because... There's part of a circle going here, and he is out on that spiral. Because coming in, in the deal with Castagna, is Wamad Omari. He looks a brilliant centre-half. We're going to try and show him right here, as everyone's signed up to a contract. That's what we've done. Brilliant. A 22-year-old. And I completely forgot the Carabao was double-legged. As we do bring a defender in here to cover Castagna, Connor Roberts joins from Championship Burnley. And the only other player that I am going to be signing in this window is this man right here. Another Championship player in Sander Berg, or how it's pronounced, Sander Berger. I think I heard that right in an interview or something. Maybe wrong, but this is the team that we have. Amari Roberts and Berg all joined to a very fatigued team at the moment to hopefully get us over the line of European football. Oh, and it's a thumbs down come end of the year, but it is a sixth place finish. So if my understanding is correct, we do qualify for Europa League, not conference. Newcastle will be the conference, won't it? Just checked our academy. We've got some good players coming through as Fulham, Southampton and Bournemouth drop down. We have got the thumbs down. We could have done better that second half season, but... It's a lot better than Brendan Rodgers. As the winners of the FA Cup wasn't us. Manchester City over Brentford. Didn't reach the semis. Knocked out in the quarters by Newcastle. And a lot of X's on what we've done right here. Don't like that. The growth's been good. The youth development, I could get one more player. And I did that. I don't get why it's not ticked off. And our top scorer, he's never too old, is Jamie Vardy with 21 goals. That is amazing. Second, here's Harvey Barnes with 20. He's now 83 rated. And 11 for James Madison, our jewel, with Tete actually getting quite a few as well. We'll have to look at Tete for next season. King and Dewsbury Hall coming through in a breakthrough. And Pereira, very good first season here with Leicester. Although we didn't actually win a trophy in season number one, something we do need to better this with. Sander Berg, of course, wants to step up. Or Mari Roberts. Not panic buys, but probably not first team this year. Drake's come back better. Hurst is better as well. Hmm, in actual, I wish for more from. We have 137 million, so that must have been Europa League to give us that much. And this, 
This is really funny because Tete, who I wanted to sign after his loan, is now a free agent. And I said in the rule book we can't sign free agents. So we cannot sign Tete. And the board this season, oh, they want the Champions League. They want Ranieri stepping it up even more. They want the Europa League winning five games without defeat and so much profit. Literally no idea how we're doing that. Take it one step at a time. We let go of our second choice keeper, but we have four anyway. So Danny Ward goes to Marseille. Making room for our Tete replacement, which is Domenico Berardi from Sassuolo. Stepping it up to the Europa League here with Claudio Ranieri. That is three brilliant attackers. No offense, all Brighton, you are not the man I mean. That's three brilliant attacking midfield players, but no attacking forward. And we also get another Burnley player who isn't a Burnley player anymore. What I mean is Ian Matson. He was on loan at them last season. They didn't get promoted. 21 year old, 76 rated. And we start this season at the King Power with Chelsea FC. Come on. Hmm. Raheem Sterling at the double to give us a bad start. Not a good result, as that's Hamza Chowdhury, you can tell by the throw. He's going to Sociedad, and that allows Luke Thomas to leave our club here. That, of course, being the signing of Matson, as Drake's got another loan to Fiorentina this time. And guess what? I've failed with my final signing, so that means, again... We've got this squad with no striker. I mean, Berardi's brilliant, Barnes and Madison, but Vardy scored most goals. Oh, dear me. At least we have the Europa League still, as we've got Braga, Anderlecht, and Viking FK. Hmm, I'm pretty optimistic about that. And we have got the thumbs up. I always judge how the season's gone by what that thumb shows in the corner, as we still are in the FA Cup. We've got the derby against Forest. Well, not a derby, you know what I mean. Eighth in the Premier League. It's not the Champions League spots. It's actually very far off of them. Still, above Arsenal by four points. Arteta's under pressure. Brighton coming out well this season. And the Geordies in the FA Cup. Of course, I've just shown you that one. And the Carabao, we haven't made it very far. But the biggest one, the Continental one. We won our group with one loss and zero draws. 15 points. I think Braga beat us. And Electum Viking going home. So can in this window we get a striker over the line to try and, well, help us in the Champions or the Europa League? Getting ahead of myself. And finally... The heavens have opened and we have signed the striker that we desperately needed, or Ranieri did. Barnes, Madison and Berardi all putting balls up to this man right here. It is Guiri, the Frenchman. You may be clued up on who he is. Stad Reniers have let him go. He's cost us a whopping 54 million, which is a lot in January, but we've had to get it done. And we have thinned the squad down and now got the main man in up top, as I will show you, actually, who we've got next in the Europa League, because we've got no more business to do. And Fenerbahce, who we sold Luke Thomas to, is the team we play. As the first leg is going to make the second one difficult, because we have actually lost Crespo. And Mishi Batshuayi. Got to make sure we get it done in this second Like, Come on. Oh, that is a comeback. It took extra time. But two goals there from Madison and Berardi. And then Madison and Berardi again. See us into the quarters. As I'm hoping not for a difficult team. Oh. Borussia Dortmund Ranieri's got to be. Ortega's got to be on his toes. Come on. A 2-2 draw for the first leg's not bad. And they actually have signed Tete. What a move. Please say we can beat them and we do. Madison. And we did it with 10 men because Ricardo Pereira will be out making Connor Roberts step up. But still, we've done it at Signu Dooney Park. That is Rinieri's first big win. Absolutely brilliant. But as you can see, Atletico Madrid games don't get easier. Come on, Tinkerman. Roberts is in this team. A 2-2 draw. We've not been beaten. Come on, do we get the job done? Yes, we do. He's gone from playing in the championship against the likes of Blackpool, Preston, Huddersfield, to scoring in the Europa League semi-final against Atletico de Madrid. He was scouted by Real years ago. But Sanderberg sends Leicester to the Europa League final. And a big game, the finale. Sevilla are actually the team that Leicester beat when they went on their Champions League mini-run. Yes, they got through a round in the knockouts.
against these. The worst bit about this finale, though, is Dominic Berardi's suspension. So he will be out, but Gwiri will drop back for Pats and Daka. Don't really know what stadium this is. It might be Benfica's, but who's to say? Come on, lads. And an early chance for us here. It is Pats and Daka getting the ball over the top. Here he goes. No defenders close to him. Can Pats and Daka do it? He does. Daka. Oh my days, there was a lot of lag in that goal, but Daka has us in front. Loved that, but Sevilla with a chance for the middle. Duvan, what a block to Loy. We hold on for now when a ball slipped through onto Daka again. He couldn't again, could he? Tries to just take it around the keeper. Bad move. The game says we're down to 10 men as well. We're down to 10 men in the semis. Daka, he slips past Mike Horn and he makes it too. That should be the champions of Europa League 1. Get in there. The whistle goes straight after and Ranieri's side will get another trophy. Now he's back. It's done again. It was two glorious finishes from the man who usually doesn't start to give Raphael Toloi a big shiny trophy to hold up. And Leicester City will go into season number three with a... Big trophy. Literally and figuratively, as the man who was out, Domenico Berardi's come to the Premier League and lit it on fire. So has Dakar in the league with 21 goals. A greedy man with zero assists. Javi Barnes and Madison in double figures. Grilly should get there now. Uh, should get there next season. But for now, we're going to season number three in good stead. Oh, and I think we just survived our sacking by the skin of our teeth as the board won. Development in the youth this time. They've got the brand exposure already. They want a semi-final in the Champions League. Oh, golly gosh. They want another Champions League spot. They want the FA Cup winning. They want financial increasing. Board very demanding. They have put 102 to Claudio Ranieri's name, though. That's million, not pounds. Let's see what he can do. We need to be a lot better planned as Drake comes back a better player. Same as Christiansen. Daniel Everson is the first to go for us today. He's gone to Getafe. Too good to be a backup. And one man who really wanted out as well. I didn't want to let him go, but Sumari wanted a loan deal. Well, we kind of wanted a transfer permanent, but I wasn't letting that happen. And now Christiansen is better. We're letting Matson go, who we've literally just signed. But hey... Profits, profit. But here are the two big transfers I wanted to bring you guys. One of Ranieri's ex-teams is Fulham. He's gone and picked up Jao Palinia. Fulham were relegated, so yes, it's another championship buy, but it is a worthy one. He has cost us 35 million. As the other one is Kim Min Jae. Yes, that's right. We've signed him from Napoli. What a big strengthening signing at the back because Toloi may be on his way out. We did get him down to new contracts, but to me, it just seems like he don't want to be here. 32 million on him. And we've gone back to Ranieri's old club again to sign what I think will be our last signing of Paolo Gazaniga as a backup goalkeeper. Six foot five of him travels here. He's older than Everson, so he'll probably stay as backup. This team looks a lot better for me. A lot, lot better. Just really left back and goalkeeper where I do want to strengthen. But even that... I'm in no rush to do it. I'm going to make the captain. Oh, who do I give the armband to? I was thinking Madison. I do need to switch them around. I'm going to give it to Pereira. He's been here a while and still in the team to hopefully lead us to glory this season. Oh, 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 oh. But we have the Super Cup. Real Madrid. There's only one winner here. Go on, lads. Go get the job done. We've actually done it. We have actually beat Real Madrid. I was talking like I wasn't being truthful. Get that trophy in the cabinet for Ranieri because that is a brilliant achievement. Ricardo Pereira and Guiri. And I almost forgot to show us the group. That is difficult. PSG, Uz, Sporting and Slavia Praha. Oh dear. I kind of think we may be a Europa League team. Or not at the end of this group. And oh my lord. We've actually got a thumbs up come end of the seat. Oh, halfway through the season. Not speaking too soon. And to be fair, I don't know what the board has seen because we are seventh. We've actually fallen off. Still only three defeats, but we're not where we want to be in this Premier League race. I'm 10 points off Arsenal. Come on. Still in the race, but not in the Carabao. We were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Arsenal. As the Champions League is the big one. We've gone through topping the group with PSG Sporting and Slavia Praha. That actually is a surprise to me. I thought we were going to get caught out, but we top it 
And we beat PSG, I can see, just above my head right there. And did we beat them again? No, we didn't. It would be behind my head, but we drew 2-2. Two -two. Didn't get beat by Paris. Rouge as well. Oh, very interesting. Just very interesting. Omari's injured as well, so it looks like Harry Sutar might have had to step up a little bit. I mean, James Justin, maybe the next player to go. Our forward line as well looks sensational. And also... Ranieri will not stop in bringing a bit of the band back together. He's gone ahead and you can see who that is right there. Riyad Mahrez is back with Ranieri. The two mates come back together. The Tinker Man and the Tinkerer. There he is joining. He's an old man now, but didn't really want to replace Justin in the end. We've got Christiansen to go in further down the line. He's on the bench with Drake now and Dewsbury Hall as we just spear straight into the second half of the season come on champions league and fa cup and league position need to keep on going and working and going up straight into this round of 16 they've got a fitter team than us but we have the players come on a first leg win yes three nil hopefully job done and dusted let's just go into this second leg with an open mind and there we go just just go steady on bring to lie on Win 5-0 on aggregate. You can see right there we have Palace in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, which is brilliant. But who will we get in the Champions League? That's the question. Chelsea. Ooh, getting to see Kante and Chilwell. Oh, this will be very tasty. Chelsea are chasing a title, and we are without James Madison. We've got to work on suspensions, lads. We get way too many of them at the moment. So, a 1-1 draw is not bad. A 1-1 draw at the King Power, though. It's Got to go away to Stamford Bridge. And I should mention, Ranieri was coach of Chelsea at one point. So this is another ex-team. Got a lot better of a squad than we thrashed. 4-0. The quarterfinals is where we go out of the Champions League with Leicester in season number three. However, will we reach it for season number four? Board now looking at us a bit more negatively. We've got to convince them with some league form. The board see us more confidently now. There we go. There's the thumbs up. But... Here is the FA Cup final. I want to add another trophy. I really do. Liverpool, we probably have to play. Come on, lads. Everyone is available. We already have a Europa League in the bank and a Super Cup. Let's add an FA Cup. We may not even be in the Champions League next year or the Community Shield because Salah has a penalty against Ortega. It's the Egyptian King versus the German shot stopper. Salah, man. You can't stop him. How are we going to find a goal in this? Come on, Barnes. Barnes has to look inside. There we go. Good ball. On to Zhao Palinha. Goes for a chip. Through to Guiri. Good first touch. What a save. Really needed the ball going in the back of the net. As oh, that's a brilliant run, though. Guiri at the near post. And Leicester are level. Thanks to a terrific header. Getting closer with our chances. But a free kick in a very dangerous position. For Cody Gakpo to hit the side netting. And a penalty to Liverpool in added time. Is it added or extra? I tried to combine both words. But Salah is still trying to score. He doesn't score the second penalty though. Get in Ortega. And it was all Liverpool. But we go to a penalty shootout here. Just going to make Salah pay for his miss. That's not a great penalty to start off with Guerrero. As long as we can save Salah's second one. Which we don't. He's learned. Rady did keep our hopes alive. Now on to Darwizel. No, 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 no. Madison's the one man I definitely have faith in. But we go down the middle and get it saved. Tielemans against the former club. He has his save though. One more save and it's all level now. It's Cody Gakpo. He's penenkered it and the pressure is down to Wilfred and Didi. He can't miss. We are going to go to the left and score. But... Pressure kick to Liverpool and Eder Militao. Can we stay in the FA Cup here? Oh, yes, we do. I absolutely love Stefan Ortega, but not happy. Why is he taking it sixth and why is he missing? Because now it's Jordan Henderson against the keeper and it is a Penenka to give Liverpool the FA Cup. Ranieri will miss out on his objective. Of one-upping Brendan Rodgers to that trophy. Very frustrating. We've just come up short in the Champions League objectives, the FA Cup and the Premier League because we finished fifth. So we've got to win the Premier League 
which we're failing to get closer with, and the Champions League, which we're not even in in Season 4. Guiri with 30 goals is a positive. Berardi continues. Madison... Barnes, but it's just a case of keeping them with this horrific form. As the board this year, we're working towards increasing the club size. What a Champions League, we'll win the FA Cup, and win the Europa League for a second time. A crucial forward. That is interesting. As we begin this season by selling Connor Roberts because his contract was up and he did not want to re sign. I didn't even touch on the money. 193 million for a Europa League finish. As we'll get our business going, shall we? And you probably know who that is. Yes, Ranieri is succeeding in getting the band back together. He's talking to the rest of the team. Ungolo, Ungolo, Conte. 25 million he has cost us. But that's not the only one, because I've gone and got another keeper. Dominic Livakovic. He looks pretty decent, the Croatian. And we have the left back in. Jose Gaia comes across from the Amers, making for a relatively strong team, but I don't know how we get that crucial forward player, because I, I am honestly in love with our front four. And out goes warmed Omari. He hasn't warm to less than life. As are we off to a good start as well against Gaia's former club. It's a draw with two goals in the first four minutes. And in a big controversial move, we've had to do it. Gawiri leaves the club. He will be playing for Bayern Munich. 135 million. That's a lot of goals gone. However, however, we're going to sign another player to replace him. And he will be a crucial forward. And the player that Ranieri signs is one he was very fond of in his days in Italy. You saw it right there. But Paolo Di Bala, the board wanted experience. They wanted a crucial forward. Two in one with the main man. He arrives on deadline day for less than half of what we earned for Guiri. A cracking bit of business which will see us going to this season very positively. He can't play as a centre forward really in this formation. But I trust him as a striker to bang in our goals with Madison, Berardi and Barnes for support. And our group in the Europa League is Lance... Gil Vincente and IEK. France, Portugal, Sweden and England. Which I hope we count them out on top in. And are we doing well? Oh. Oh. Tenth in the Premier League. Okay, I did move my focus to the Europa. But still, 11 points off fifth position. Extraordinary. Absolutely. Are we through in this round? Yes. Preliminary round has to go on. But we're top. Unbeaten. Good stuff. Are we still in the Carabao? We're not. We were knocked out somewhere along the line. Watford? Watford have knocked us out. How's the ratings in the team doing? Is Dybala doing any good? He can't be. He can't be if we're doing this bad. Ten goals, but it's the same as Pats and Dakar, which is very worrying for our squad. What's even more worrying, though, is James Madison's got one goal. Zero assists. What is happening here? We do have a bit of money to try and buy some goals if we could find the right players. And in matter of fact, he has asked to leave the club. James Madison no longer wants to be a Leicester City player. He's lost faith with Ranieri. And we've really lost faith on this title or whatever we're trying to win. And there he goes. He's chose Atletico Madrid over any other team. I honestly wish him all the luck. But we look to replace him straight away with a man from Marseille. He's a big signing, and I'll show you straight away who this is. It's Konrad Kazamarek, £133 million. Pounds. He is the regent of Lewandowski. Not the first time I've gone after his regen, but he looks brilliant. Then there's another crucial player. Yes, the ratings have gone down from Guerri and Madison, but will Dybala and Kazmarek, two new players here this season, Turn Leicester's tide around. And in the Europa League here, Valencia is our first knockout round. The only bad thing is, I don't see any FA Cup games. Guessing the board aren't happy with us after getting knocked out. Can we beat Valencia though? Yes. In the first leg. As the second leg is won as well. Straight onto a game against Lazio, who we face next. I don't want to see our league form. I'm honestly too scared of it as how we let go against these. 2-2 two, two draw, the usual draw in the first leg. So I'm back at the king power for this second leg against them, and Kazmarek, he does the business. On to a semi-final. Who's this against? Manchester United. Come on, please. A home first leg. It is a draw. Musiala and Berardi. Oh, this is a big game. This could 
be us sacked if we don't beat United. Old Trafford awaits and Old Trafford is stunned. We may keep our job because of Harvey Barnes. We actually put Drake in that squad. You can see him with the early yellow card because he wanted to curse them. And it has worked out. Leicester City and Ranieri may keep his job in this big challenge and winning both major honours by winning a Europa League semi-final. We're going to check around the grounds though before this one. We finish sixth, so Europa League will be confirmed. Man United have dropped out. We were so far off Champions League. What happened this... Well... I know what happened. We had a massive turnaround, but still, what happened this season? As the FA Cup won by Wolves over Man United. Man United have had a shocker. Oh, hang on. No, they haven't. They've got a trophy in the Carabao Cup, beating Manchester City. And Berardi's been carrying our attack, being the only mainstay here. I mean, Paolo Dybala, he's on the decrease, though. He stepped in well. Dak has done well. Barnes... And Kazmanek definitely needs a full season under his belt. You could definitely say. I see the assist for Dewsbury Hall. Off the bench hero. But will he be the hero on the field? Because he doesn't start. Pereira is injured for this game against Stad Reniers. And Harvey Barnes with the double last minute goal. Puts another Europa League trophy in Ranieri's um, cabinet. I mean, he was set in to win the Champions League. And he's becoming Mr. Europa League still. Not a bad thing to do. He's stealing that title off Emery as we go into season number five. And seeing Harvey Barnes with that trophy is just a delight. But this season, we need to make sure we're not shocking. That's what I'm going to say. As there is a critical over continental success, which worries me. Because we are in the Champions League now. Let's have a look. Right, the board expect us to win the Champions League. And that is a critical priority. Oh my days. To be fair, everything else is doable. We've signed that one player. We need to up the age of the squad. Youth development, we need to get youth in. Which doesn't make sense with the age thing. Oh, whether we've got to get domestic success going and keep the salary growth down. And I am sorry, but how has Livkovic coming in made Ortega 85 rated? How? 205 million pounds. The board do believe in Claudio. Claudierio just has to believe in himself. And our first sale is a big one. Pats and Daka, who scored many of our goals, but will leave to go to Getafe, where Iverson went. I think it's time we stepped up the quality in the backup position, as he's joined on the outgoing list with Sander Berigay. Giving us room in the budget to get a Champions League winner, who have gone for the experience of Tony Kroos to join Ranieri's ranks. He's cost us 21 mil at the age of 36, so I bloody hope he can have an impact. As a man who's never been in the squad finally going, Dennis Pratt to Wolves. And our only signing is from Real Madrid, who we face again in the Super Cup. They're the team we're going to have to knock off the Champions League title if we're going to come close. We've got Harvey Barnes, and we've got the Super Cup one again! Jose Gaia! I'll tell you what, if we make it to the final against Real Madrid, we do stand a chance. Ranieri has Real on strings, but he can't even have Bournemouth on strings. And finally, we've signed a new player. Here he is, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is our DACA fill-in. I don't know, just a different option. This story should have been easier than it is. But we finally got hold of Nicolas Soule, a tall stalwart centre-back. Who we need to perform if we're going to do well in this Champions League. And the group we've been given? Latium, which is Lazio, PSV and Shakhtar Donetsk. A very comfortable group, which we hopefully fly through. Come on, Tinkerman, come on, Tinkerman, come Oh. Oh, wow. Eighth. It's a terrible season again. Still a long way to go. But eighth. So far off. I mean, actually, no, it's seven points. Still, not good enough. We definitely need maybe a player to come in and rectify that. FA Cup. Of course, we've got, we've got Forest. We always get Forest in the Cup as we're out of the Carabao. Don't know where we went. We won the penalties in that round and beaten by United. Big thing is the Champions League and Sule's ex-team has been drawn. That means we won. Yes, we won the group. I could have said we just got qualified, but no. Spoke too soon, but spoke correctly. We breezed that group with just one defeat. Feeling positive. We've, we've got to feel positive. We've got the thumbs up anyway. Just need to build. This was the season for Drake's breakthrough. Has he proven that he should break through? Has he contributed? 
Oh, not really. It's not even on that list. It doesn't seem like he's doing well here. So maybe a new midfielder to replace our youth. And we have gone ahead and signed the main player. I think he'll be worth it. The Syria is his stomping ground, Ranieri's. And this guy's as well, because it is Federico Chiesa. He's there with Ranieri, letting a little chuckle out. Our new number 27 for 70 mil. That's going to make Barnes go central, Chiesa on the left. Kazmarek stays up front. He's now 92 rated. And Berardi. This team is looking very, very decent. Left back is our weakest position. Although he scored the winner for the Super Cup, did Gaia. I'll see you guys at the next game. Because I honestly feel like with that squad, we may stand a chance at the Champions League. Signa Iduna Park awaits. Leicester City. Yes! Yes, I even fist bumped before. Berardi's two goals. I'm going to start celebrating before because it's obviously working for us. Just 2-0 though, so they could still overcome. We've had a really good bit of league form, but we get two goals for ourselves. We're through in the Champions League. Bye-bye, BVB. I'll check our league form on a pit stop as well. We are fourth. Oh, that is brilliant. What a rebuild, as in the Champions League. Marseille. The best possible draw. I mean, Lazio is still in. Get Lazio in the semis. And that is a bye to the final. Oh, my days. I told you. Discipline problem. Sule and Undidi are both suspended. I don't know who we'll replace them with. As we still manage to get through. Drake and Kazmarek. That's what we needed. We are both back for this second leg. And we don't have enough players to fill the bench or something i don't know but we get a draw it's not a comfortable one and sule has got sent off again double yellow i'm gonna have to talk to him as t elements is beaten so a semi-final without our main center back and even they got a red card so third in the league actually two points off the top of the prem if we win the prem and win the champions league we've completed this save Oh my days. You don't understand how good that would be. I want the FA Cup as well. You can see two big games here. We've drawn Juventus and we have Tottenham at Wembley. We begin with Tottenham and no suspensions here, please. Oh, oh the FA Cup won't be ours because we're absolutely hammered. So, without Sule, we're going to play at the King Power. Please, it's a defeat. No! Is this season having a bittersweet end to it? It may be. It may be, because it's 3-1 Juventus. 5-1 aggregate. Our Champions League run came to an end against Chiesa's ex-team. Bray, we finished the season strong, though. Yes, third in the league. Five points off the top, so we still do retain our Champions League status. Pipping everyone else to the post, but of course, semi-finals and quarter-finals. The FA Cup, of course, and the Champions League... Not great. Tottenham actually went on to win the FA Cup. Southampton, we could have beaten them if we got there. Carabao won by Man United over Middlesbrough. And in what is a very bitter end to a season, Kazmarek with 37 goals, Brady 23, Barnes with 20, and Drake, as soon as he got a replacement in for him, started scoring goals. He got 10 double figures. Chiesa with one and three assists. So he's having the season that actual Drake had. Oh my day. This... Team. So for this next season, I'm really hopeful we can actually win, well, at least one of the FA Cup, Champions League or Premier League. What we are going to look at is what the board want and just do exactly what they want, which is win the Champions League, win the league and win the FA Cup with profit of 158 million, 10 clean sheets and a crucial forward and then one of each position. Okay. Probably won't get what the board want. How much money to do it with? I mean, 307. Okay, I understand it more. But Ranieri, listen to me. You have a huge job. Actually, no. Scrap it. Money we've got. Let's go out there and do what the board want us to do. As, boom, the first player. There he is, Vinicius Jr. He's at Real Madrid. He had 12 months left on his contract, so we got about 30 to 40 million off. I think the 120 we paid for him. One of the world's best. Basically, the new Neymar. And he will be brilliant for us. Real Madrid didn't win the Champions League. So here he comes. It was actually Juventus who won it, if you wanted to know. I know. We lost to the champions. Chiesa should have known when he came here. He wouldn't just be fit straight in the team to stay. Because he's already out to Vinny Jr. As we actually let Paolo Dybala as well go back to Italy. Not even Argentina. 
Inter Milan have signed him up for 20 million. Let him on a cheap. And we've actually won the race for a promising keeper. 70 million for Ruben Lehmann. Probably sees either Livkovic or Ortega leaves. It seems Napoli was the first to approach. And it is Stefan Ortega, our biggest starter and one of his biggest signings to start off with. Look at this. We've put Fires back in now is good enough. Lehman in goal, Vinny Jr. 390 rated. Let's get this title. To me, it all depends on this first game, though, which will be a relegation six-pointer in real life. It is to go for the title with Leicester here, and it's a win. Ndidi and Sule. And our Champions League group. Atletico Madrid, Reniers and Rangers. What I think is our toughest group to date. It's going to be a struggle to get past them. But if we do, we should get a good team afterwards. And we do avoid Atletico Madrid, which is a positive. Come on, lads. Please be doing well. We're going to win two trophies, which you haven't done yet. And we are joint at the top of the Premier League. Good stuff. Are we still in the Carabao Cup? No, we're not. Two of... Oh, Four of the big four there. What's happening here? An understandable defeat as Bayern Munich in the round of 16. We did finish second. I've had to go Madrid top. And we just got through by a point over Rangers. Hey, maybe coming second actually gives us a good run. Wouldn't make sense, but I wouldn't mind it. Don't think I actually want to make another signing as well. Pereira's going down. But he's the captain who's been here ages. He's 34 year old, but I just love the guy. I want him at the club. So I am going to skip on. Yeah, straight into it. No new signings. So without further ado, into Bayern Munich. And I mean into them. Come on. I still don't feel confident despite how good we've made our squad. Ooh, we do get a 1-0 lead. Kazmanek there. X-Player Lewandowski's regen. A game that absolutely means nothing if we don't do it in the next round as Pereira is out. Still, I think it'll be Christiansen in, and we still win. Vinny Jr. and Fires. Was it Fires who replaced him? No, James Justin. But get in there. Beaten by him in two games, and through we go. I did actually call finishing second to be better for us. Next round, though, please be easy. Oh. Liverpool. Liverpool. We've even got them in the cup as well, as we're not winning Premier League games as often as I'd like. We've got the thumbs down and we're away at Anfield. They've got Jude Bellingham and all. Oh, please. Yes, lads. Vinny Jr. I don't know why I doubt the team that we actually have. It's just Liverpool, isn't it? Seeing them worries me, but it shouldn't. We just need to do it over two legs, though. Come on. At the King Power. Yes. Paulinha sends us to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Come on. Oh, the league is actually stinky, though. We're stinky in the league with fourth. But who have we got in the semi-finals? Oh. Oh, my. I, I wouldn't mind any of them. It is actually Leverkusen that we've drawn. Very nice. And if you can see right there, we've played Liverpool four times in a month. We've beaten them three. So we've got a tired team, especially Vinny, Pereira and Kasmanek. But I honestly have full faith that we beat Leverkusen. Get in. First leg done. And the second leg is dispatched with as well. João Pedro with a goal for them. But Paulinha and Bernardi send us to the final. The final right there, you can see, is against Leipzig. But we're going to see... About this being the final save, uh, season of this save, should I say, by the league position. Have we won the Premier League title? I'll have to find out this way. Come on, what's it going to be? We did it by a point! Okay, okay. If we win the Champions League, we've done the save. Look at that! 77 points has won us the title. That is shocking. That is absolutely shocking. No team should be allowed to win a Premier League on 77 points. That should be a rule, a new rule, because that hasn't happened in years. Finally, something to join them, brother trophy. So, yeah, this Leipzig game's pretty important. We've made no free signings. We've spent a lot of money, and I was about to put Chiesa in, but of course, no one to replace him for. Pereira's gone back up a rating. Can he be lifting the Champions League title? We will check the stats before so. And Kazmarek, 38 goals this season. Vinny with 20. Bernardi with 17. And Drake, he just keeps on going. He's like a little curse for the other teams. If you get the joke again. So off we go. Come on. 
Wish us luck. Barnes just signed a new contract as well. A huge one because I thought of maybe having him next season. But there might not be one. If we win it, Estadio do SL Benfica. Here it is. Here's the graphics of Cadbarek scoring a goal, actually. I hope that really comes true now. That's a nice, decent graphic. It's Harvey Barnes, though, who's on the TFO. That man's been sensational. Surely he doesn't stay at Leicester if they do get promoted. Oh, promoted? Relegated, should I say. Hopefully this could happen in real life. Ranieri, just pick up the phone, or Leicester, should I say. Call Ranieri to build this squad and win them the Champions League. And this is season number six or seven. I always lose count, but it's a very early one, so hopefully an eventful final to make up for it. They do the look to have a decent team as well. Oh, what a tackle there. Paulinha. Oh, the ball's not a good one. So glad to have him in this team as well. Polini has made such a difference. Here is Kazmarek. He's made the biggest one, though, as it's on to Berardi. Been here quite a while. Dominic Berardi, what a finish from the Italian to start us off very promptly. It is 1-0 Leicester City in this final against Leipzig. What a way to open his body up and just thread it into that far corner. Get in there. Leicester have the lead. And Ricardo Pereira into Sule. He's been caught out on the ball. Big tackle, though, from Fires. Still not cleared. Evanyson. Oh, dodgy stuff. Especially dodgy when Conrad Lyman's got the gap. And Lehman with the save. They are going to try and get back into this. Tony Rudiger with the header. They've won it again. And it's another save. Lehman keeping us in this one. As that is... I think it was Schleiger running rings around as Raum. Cut inside into Sven Botman. Very difficult. Very difficult. Off the bar. And Gaia with a very important block. Leipzig all over us. Again, we've been utterly dominated, but still do hold a lead in. Come on. Counter-attack, though. Straight onto Kadmarek. Ooh. The venom. That was hit at. Very close chance. And, of course, two big chances to the team that doesn't deserve to be in front. Almost was two, though. Grow into this game a little bit. Shows our attacking options are worth it. And Javier Schleiger trying to get the team back to level pegging. The team that's been good. A dodgy tackle. Don't say, oh, well, it might have been a red then for the team that has bad discipline. Still a very decent position for a free kick. It will be Platter against Lehman. Oh, off the crossbar and off his glove, which he's just going to the break 1-0 up. They've hit the bar twice. And they've been very much on top. Much like the scrapping to survive in real life, we're scrapping to hold on to a lead in the Champions League final. I think they'd like this in real life, though, as they have that problem. What a chance. That was Vinicius Jr. And here he is again, tackled on the ball roll. That usually doesn't happen. Oh, caught Schleiger a little bit. We're living up to his dirty reputation as Unkuku has Leipzig level in a finale that actually shouldn't be this difficult. It's proving to be. Glorious finish from the Frenchman. Just squeezed it through the angle of the two defenders. And now we have a game on our hands. Harvey Barnes on a little bit of an attack as well here. Oh my days. Return that to him. There we go. Harvey Barnes. He's got a decent cross on him. Better than he shot into Berardi. And we do get the lead. And somehow Berardi scored two. Despite not being in the game. Leicester City are doing it in the Champs League. Making Gary Lineker proud. What a ball. I mean, if he was watching that goal go in at the other side, he might have just pooped himself for the second time. Not now he's back in front. A truly great finish still. 3-1 would be game over. Fires has been here all this save and he's put it over. Oh, what a lead. Still, it could be actually... Oh, picked back. What a save from Lehman. We've got to learn the game is not over till it's over. Headed away. On to Vinny Jr. Now he's got magic to work. What a revolution the team's had with this man back into it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Spin inside. Vinny Jr. He's got a run in front of him. He uses it as a decoy. Vinicius. However, we failed to do that. And Platter is running at us. He's passed it back into Wijnal. He goes backwards. And that is the game. That is the season. All in one. Claudio Ranieri has won the Premier League. And now... In that cabinet is the Champions League title alongside his two Europa Leagues. Yes, a Berardi brace, the Italian who he brought in from coaching over in Syria. He's had a scouting mission, come back to Leicester, 
and redone his magic. Go get the medals and the trophy here to be lifted by Ricardo Pereira. Is this the first time we've actually had a player who starts the save and ends it at the same club lift the trophy? I think it may be because there goes the Portuguese to lift it high into the Lis... No, not Lisbon. Benfica Sky, the Portuguese sunset. What a momentous occasion for Claudio Ranieri. A truly fantastic save, which has just been so phenomenal. But now we go through our main things. You may know the routine. If you don't, you may catch you on. Back off with the biggest win. We like to walk you through these things. Jill Vincentie, 5-1 in the Europa League group stages was Ranieri's big win. As the biggest defeat, though, always 4-0, and this was to Chelsea in 2025. So quite early on, still shouldn't be getting beat 4-0 by his ex-club. The biggest transfer fee you may think was actually Vinicius Jr., which I am going to pop up on the FIFA card because the man who actually was isn't in the game. It was Lewandowski's regen, Kazimierak. He cost £133 million really early on, but we spent 120 for Vinny, so... Vinny's the real player. He's the one we count in. Sorry to Kabmarek. He's not in the three chosen players of the save. These aren't the best three. Don't worry. They're not the most improved. They're just three players that have stood out to me whilst I've been doing this. Hopefully stood out to you. And I may even put a poll up to think which you guys or get what you guys think was the best player. Because for me, Patson Daka needs a shout. He started the save. I could have put Pereira in this, but I didn't because Daka's hit double figures so many times and he's never gone above the rating of 81. Brilliant work from the Zimbabwean, if that is how you say it, and that's where he's from. May actually not be correct on that, so we've got, of course, two more positions to fill. I think I've filled them both, and they're both at other sides of the field. You may guess one from the other. Berardi is going to be this one. He's been phenomenal since he was signed. Signed him, of course, as the Italian. Rise, risen up, should I say. I thought he'd be gone within two seasons of having him, but no. He's got him to his twilight age, and he scored two goals in the Champions League final to lift it as the main man himself Harvey Barnes he's one of the main men in real life Madison gets a lot of the plaudits well, Harvey Barnes is just phenomenal isn't it real life in this game he's risen to be one of the best players in the world in this save and really proven to be it so yeah just a bit of an experiment here taking over Leicester with Claudio Granieri after Brendan Rodgers has gone please do drop a subscription if you've enjoyed this one and tell me in the comments save you want next.